everyone, today I'm showing you how to do a pullover on the bus. So let's get started. But make sure you have a good glide swing before you do it. I'll show you it on my bars. So glide swing is kind of like that, but you kind of just have to Also, when people start their pullovers, they usually have their hands like this and pull over, but that's not what you're wanting to do. You'll want to have your hands like this. For starters, people would do this, which is helpful. But first, try and do, just get like your knees to the bar to see how well you can go like over or if you can't you could try and pull over it's, it's a pretty easy skill but it's really hard to pull over so usually people would have a spot but i don't have a spot but luckily i can do it you could also um like maybe you, you could try a back hip circle but it's going to be harder. So your, your um, squatter will just hold your tummy and they would, um, and they would like, when you pull over, they would hold your tummy and they would push you up to help you pull over. Also, a run up is a great idea. And making it fast is also too. But if you're up to this point, and you can't pull over yet. I've got some tips. So you should you should at least try a little bit of glide swings, or you could do I call these bar push-ups. You could do push-ups on the bar. I know it doesn't sound helpful, but it is. And if you think, oh, maybe a kip would help. No. Because I will pull over and I can't even do a kick yet. So, you're like, this is a pretty easy skill. When you're attempting your pull over, only on your first try have your hands like this. If you have it on like a big chalky bar, you'll just fall off. So, that's why on a chalky bar, you would have your arm positions like that. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope. He thought it was helpful and I'll see you in my next video which is a front hip circle. Bye!